What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. Today we're going to do a stage 5 and a stage 6 shift pattern on the Kia Stinger. We're going to show you how to drive it, how to tune it, all that good stuff. We'll do a review on the car and see what it's all about. Thank you to YouTuber Asho Speed the King. I'm using his YouTube account today to make this video. So when you have the car 100% maxed out with all the stage 6 and all the fusions, nitrous goes over at 379 and 4.7. Final drive around 5.0 and tire pressure down to 8 PSI. So to drive it, we're going to try and get a perfect start. As soon as it launches, go second, third, and then nitrous on fourth gear. All the rest of the shifts are right before the red line there. So let's go ahead and drive it and see how it goes. Three, two, one, go second, third, fourth and nitrous, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. And that's all she wrote. Very easy car to drive. Not much to it, really. There we got a 8.286. Remember, tier three cars do go by quarter mile times and not half mile times 99% of the time. Now let's switch it to stage five parts only and do the same thing. So when it's got all the stage five parts and all the fusions, put your nitrous to stock. Final drive around 4.10 and tire pressure is around 11 PSI. We got a 9 in the 91 on acceleration and grip. And that's giving us 9.582 on the quarter mile dyno time. All right, so to drive this one, I think we're going to do early shift in the second, nitrous on third gear. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, nitrous on fourth gear, actually. Nitrous on fourth. And that should beat dyno time by just a little bit. Then we got a 9.514. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Now, as far as a live racing car, it's probably not going to do that well. I wouldn't really go out and try and make this a live racing machine because, eh, that's all I got to say about that as far as live racing goes. So as far as the review, it can do about 8.214 when it's 100% maxed out. It can do 182 miles per hour on the top speed. 0 to 60 is like 2.0 something. 0 to 100 is like 3.3 something. So I think it's just basically an average tier 3 car. Nothing too special. Nothing really stands out about it. Most of the tier 3 cars, the game, not really sure why, but... They're not the greatest cars. I'd rather drive a tier one, tier two, tier four, tier five car over a tier three any day. But there's a couple of good tier threes here and there, but yeah, I'm just not into the tier threes in general. Of course, always keep one of every car because you never know when you are gonna need it for some sort of event. So don't strip it, don't sell it unless you have more than one. Again, thank you to YouTuber Asho Speed the King. There's a link to his YouTube channel in this video's description. I appreciate him letting me use the account to make this video. I try to make videos to help you guys out, so help me out. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and click that little bell and set the notifications all. That way YouTube should let you know when I upload a new video with good CSR2 information. Now if you'd really like to help support the channel, check out the thank you button or the join button down below the video. There are some links in the video's description you might like. There's a Danny Lightning merch store and all kinds of great stuff. So yeah, hit that like, hit that subscribe, check out the uh, video's description, check out the merch store, and thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are all amazing. Lightning out. Have an awesome day. See ya.